What's up guys, it's BD here and latency or click latency has been a hot topic of debate in the past month or so, namely since the Final Mouse ULX dropped. Now, while that is a great mouse and Final Mouse always pushes the limits of what a mouse can be, but there's always a timeline after their mice come out. And that is phase one, people go crazy, it's the best mouse ever, I aim like an aim god. Phase two, after a month, they unplug it and plug back in their Logitech G Pro Superlight. I say all of this just to make a point of shape is king. And I find that we've kind of moved away from what is important in a mouse. So I thought I'd make a video on my five favorite shapes of this past year. And also I would love to hear from you, what was your favorite shape of 2023? And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. All right, so let's start with the first mouse on the list. It's a mouse that I like to call the Smooth Criminal. This is the HTX 4K from G Wolves. It's based off of the Razer Viper Mini, so you know the HTX 4K had to be on the list. The hump doesn't feel as great as the Mini, but it's pretty damn close. As you can see here on the ELO Shapes website, shout out to them for this amazing tool, by the way. What I can say about this mouse is it feels ultra smooth in all the right places, whether that's the hump or the convex sides, which feels smooth to the touch. I can game with this mouse for hours and not be fatigued one bit. And I gotta say, I am super consistent with this mouse. Now, when I switch over to other mice, not so much. It's definitely one of the best claw grip mice out there at the moment. I wouldn't really recommend it for other grip styles. Where the magic really happens is where your thumb and your pinky press directly into each other on the opposite sides when you claw grip this mouse. And since the sides are so convex or cut out, it adds to the control of this mouse. And also it's got a lower front end compared to the Viper Mini, giving you more of that pencil action. So shout out to G Wolves for creating this amazing shape. They did what uh, Razer wouldn't do for us. So yeah, there's that. All right, so next on the list, we have the fan favorite, the Lamzu Mini 4K. It's got that diamond back shape that fits into the back of your hand, giving you great control. It's not an entirely new shape as we've seen mice like this before in the ZM1, but creating a mini version is something we asked in-game to do for a while, and it took so long, so Lamzu stepped in and saved us. What can I say about the Lamzu mini that hasn't already been said when it comes to shape? It's comfortable, it comes in two different sizes. This is a claw grip mouse first and foremost, but it can be used for fingertip grip because the whole mouse has a nice Nice low profile. It has a nice low front end that gives you that nice pencil action for claw grip or fingertip grip. And it's just a super comfortable shape because again, that diamond shape just forms naturally to the curves of your palm. So, so nice. Coming in at number three, we have the new kit on the block. This is the Pulsar X2H. Now I haven't done a review on this, so I thought I'd just make a debut here of it. I've been super impressed with this. It's been getting a ton of views from me. It finally brings that ZA13X shape to the market. If you like to pull like your fingers into the back of your palm like this and get a nice tight grip, you're gonna love the H2X. And if you're a wrist aimer and you have your wrist like planted and you do a lot of this action, that hump is just gonna provide a nice anchor point for your aiming and it's gonna make you more accurate. I'd skip it for fingertip and palm grip. The palm, it'll just shoot it over like so. For fingertip grip, you know, the hump kind of gets in the way of your the back of your palm. You want something more low profile like the Lamzu. It also has straight sides. So if you're like a relaxed claw grip, it's going to feel very nice and comfortable, especially if you keep your fingers a little bit straighter and not as curled. But again, whether you're doing a palm claw hybrid or a straight up death grip claw, this mouse is one of the top tier mice when it comes to claw grip. This is one of these mice where you can game with it for hours and not be affected whatsoever. So shout out to Pulsar for coming out with a hump shaped mouse. I would love to see Final Mouse make something like this with their current technology. Coming in at number two, we have the Ponage Stormbreaker. Now this is a unique take on the EC2A shape. What makes it unique is the hump sits towards the middle and it has a drastic slope towards the back and also dramatic curvatures on the side. The side being so dramatic helps with pressing in on the side instead of resting it, giving you more control and accuracy. Since where the pressure and the sensor are, 
are almost one to one, you get more of a mind muscle connection, I feel, with the Pony Stormbreaker compared to other mice with more of a gradual hump towards the back. Ponage was one of my favorite shapes of this past year. All right, so coming in number one, we have the Razor Viper V3. That should be no surprise to anyone. This is one of the best shapes to come out in the past year, if not the best shape. And a lot of you haven't tried it because it has a battery in it. You're lost. And this is what I believe most companies should be doing, including Final Mouse, is taking their shapes and then slightly tweaking them as time goes on, as people give you feedback. Like Razor could have, you know, they did the Razor Viper, the original, the Viper V2, the V2 Pro, all those. They could have just redid the shape, put a new sensor in it, like the other companies, but they actually took the time to research, ask pros, and come up with a new shape. And I believe it's actually a better shape than what they had before. Now they move the hump more towards the middle of the mouse where your palm is to create that nice center of gravity just like on the Stormbreaker. It gives you that mind muscle connection to the mouse and allows you to control the mouse sensor better because you can pretend like the mouse sensor is in the middle of your hand. Now I know the sensor is a little bit higher on this edition but I believe once the Pro comes out we're all going to rejoice and the aiming is just going to get insane when that one comes out and it's going to be lower weight. It's great for claw grip, relaxed claw and you can also palm it since that hump is more towards the middle. The sides are slightly straighter, which is gonna benefit the palm and the relaxed palm users. It's not gonna be as concave as something like the HTX mice. This is another mouse where I can game with it for hours and not even feel like I was gaming. And even with that heavy battery in it. So yeah, like I said, shout out to Razer for actually researching, changing this mouse this year. And I gotta give it my number one shape of 2023 can't wait for them to possibly release the pro version next year hopefully that's something that they do and thus comes to the conclusion and my whole point of this video and why i'm making this video is that i hope that this video inspires some companies to actually take a risk try some new shapes out listen to the feedback from the consumers from you guys as to what you want what's wrong with their mice so that they use it long term not just for a month be hyped and have it die down and never to use it again or sell it off we've seen companies rehash the same shape but just adding new sensors materials and at the end of the day we always switch off of it we go back to our mains why because of shape so hopefully this video inspires some of them to actually take a risk add some humps make some bumps in some places and come out with something new because that would be truly exciting in 2024 all right guys so that's gonna do it for this video it has been your boy bt don't forget to like share oh that's a lot comment and subscribe and i'll see you